This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Hello fellow tubers, my name is Leor and we're currently playing the Stanley Parable. We're looking at a computer. We're stuck in an office. Now if you, um, if you've been following me for the past couple days here on this channel, you'll know that I've been having problems with the capture card that I usually use to capture these videos for you, which is my Elgato Game Capture HD. Been having some, some, some issues with it, some screen tearing and things like that, and it's been quite nasty. I'm currently recording with NVIDIA Shadow Play, which means that uh, we have 1080p 60fps. Let's step out of the office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Now I really gotta touch everything right now, you know that, right? Game? I gotta really make sure. Huh? Alright. <laughs> gotta push buttons, it's fun. Buttons are fun. Let's see if I can open any doors here. So yeah, I'm playing this game right now. Don't know why. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Let's go right, let's see what happens. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Perhaps? Perhaps? I just wanted to be a rebel. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Ah, got a coffee maker. Man, I would love a cup of coffee right now. We got some soda that we can get. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. All right, fine, let's go. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I'll pass. It's fine. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh yeah? Let's see what this says. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift is $1,000. Penalty for, uh, for jumping off the cargo li lift is $5,000. Now the question is, if I jump off and I'm dead, how am I going to pay the $5,000 penalty? Makes no sense. All right. Well, let's get on Look, the platform. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's some. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, 
I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. You know what? Sure. I'll give you a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me again. You know I'm I'm gonna do the thing that you don't want me to do. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> you son of a gun. How about no? Hmm. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, sure. I guess I did. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Ah. So both of these lead to the same place, correct? Okay. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> really, you do? Well, that's wonderful to hear, narrator. Still uh, didn't catch your name, though. Do you have a name or are you just the narrator? Interesting. I love how just amazing this game is and that, like, it's really... It's really the kind of game that I don't need to make commentary over, you know what I mean? Like, sure, this is fun to me, for me just to do this, but I could just play this game and just be completely silent. I know it's not, like, the most interesting for a video, but still. Let's go through here. Seems oddly inviting, even though this is quite beautiful in here. Still, I might go here. Here, this way. No, wait. Where are you going? I'm going to explore, man. What do you mean? Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! I think it's worth it, man. I'm sorry. We gotta make progress. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Come on. Please, no, Stanley! Let me stay here! Don't take this from me! Dude. It's been fun knowing you. I'm out! No! Oh, thank God, you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Okay, get into the other room. Somehow I didn't die from that. Ugh. There, see? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Okay, I'm not moving right now. I like how the narrator just kind of makes up his mind, I guess, or, or just like decides, okay, this is what you want. Maybe that's not what I want. How about that narrator? Let's take it to the next level. You really want to know what I want? Actually, I don't even know what I want. Let's just go. Sorry, Stanley, man. Go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Oh, man, you don't even know. All the good things can come no. from this. No, no, what do you- Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? I don't know, just stop skipping dialogue. How about that? <laughs> I'm jumping off, man, I'm sorry. Peace! Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Okay, you sound really terrified. You know what, I'll, I'll do you a favor. Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? 
this is this is some matrix stuff, you know? All the all the blobs. I feel like, you know, I am I am the one. I am the one who was meant to be. I like this room. You know, it's Ooh, got some stars now. It's really magical, but but you know, I really have to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, perhaps not. I'm sorry. I have to do this. For both our sakes. My god. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Look, first of all, don't break the fourth wall. That's not cool. Second, yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. You know what? I'll give you one last chance. Let's go back to the other room. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? <laughs> Maybe both. I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Do you not think that anymore? Would you like to elaborate? Because I'd like to know. What is going through your mind right now, narrator? I know this is not real time, this is a game that came out a few years ago, but... I still want to know. <laughs> uh, I ask all the questions. Here. Yeah, this is... I, I really have to go, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. After all, if we're already breaking the fourth wall, don't want this video to get too long. Alright. Jumping off again. Is this this it? Is this the final one? Or am I gonna survive this one too? Let's find out. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what this game is doing right now. Alright, we're jumping! Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going What? Why is there paper all over? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This is no really matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. It's really trippy, man. I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of paper everywhere. I'm going to touch the computers again. All of them, as many as I can. Awaiting input. Oh, you got your input. Congratulations. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Isn't this wonderful? I don't know what the hell happened in this office. All right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, fine. I'll enter the door on the left. What do we got here? There better be some good here. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Huh. What do we got on this board? What is this? Buy quarterly post, post review? I mean, you can read that if you want. What does this say? Huh. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. <laughs> Everyone's unique, you most of all. Well, isn't that something? Alright. Oh, we got a broom closet! Oh, ho, ho! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Uh, yeah, let's close the door. Hmm. Yeah, this is beautiful right here, man. What a what a wonderful broom closet this is. Actually, let's go. Let's go. Let's see. I wonder what happens if I just follow the directions. Ah. 
Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright, fine. I'll walk upstairs to my boss's office. Hey, boss! This way? I think it might be. Is there anything on this computer? Can I turn it on? Let's find out. I cannot turn it on. Well, that's kind of disappointing, but here we are. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Isn't that incredible how I just happened to know some things? Just out of nowhere? Hmm. Alright. Let's push the button. Whew. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. You know, right now, I'm just gonna follow all directions. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, this is tempting, but... Okay, let's do this. I'll make more videos in this game. We'll explore some alternatives, alternative endings and choices. It's fine. Let's see what this is. Let's push the button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I think I do. I believe that I do. Let's find out what's going on in this place. Ooh. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Go this way. Oh my god, this is bad. Oh man. Let's push this button. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Maybe. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control, never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh ho ho! I guess I am the one after all, huh? Oh, it's time to press the OFF button! Yes, this place shall never control another person's mind again. Blackness. 
and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Is this the end? I feel it. It might be the end. Oh my god, let's have a look around before we... Before we step out into the world with the birds chirping and the sun shining, I'm ready. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. And that was the end. We're back in the office. Guess what, guys? I'll be back playing this game some more. I would like to explore some more endings, some more options, some more things that could potentially happen. And on that note, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, or any other of my videos, which I recommend checking out, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys later.